I got a cool video for you guys. It's another ad guard, but I think personally where I'm going to go with this is going to be really cool. Make sure you subscribe and like the channel. That helps. Last week I did a video on um, putting ad guard on your open sense. But what happens if you don't have a nice firewall like that and you have something like this awesome all-in-one router like this or something different like an Asus or something like that. This is the Grand Stream 7062 and I've been running it for a week and it's really good. So I thought, what happens if mom and dad have one of these and you have one of these and you don't want to run extra pieces of equipment? I'm going to put AdGuard in a Linode VM and when I set mine up for testing on this and in my lab network, it worked great for $5 a month to protect as many devices as you want, say your cell phone when it's at work or your laptop when it's at work. Who could complain about that? I've been running mine and I have mine locked down real, real good for about two weeks now and I love it. I go to work, I get no ads when I'm surfing, I get malware protection, all that kind of stuff. There was a guy that did a video, David at DB Tech did a video. He did a great job of this. He put it in Linode. But as I watched it and I was playing with it, there's no protection how to protect that node. So I wanted to go over that kind of stuff in my video to protect you guys. Now there's ways of protecting it like SSH access or the portal IP so nobody can get into it. Some people have some controversial about giving that IP address out to other people to protect their devices, but I haven't found any issues with it. Maybe over time there might be with it, but I have mine personal one locked down. I have an, my own Linode, but I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So let's jump in how to do that. I'll have to, I'm going to wipe my stuff out here, but this is Linode uh, logged in. This is what you get when you create yourself an account. Very easy to do. Takes about three minutes. So today I'm going to show you how to create one. I'll go up to the top here. We'll push create Linode. In the instructions here, they say a command. Uh, let's see here, down here, installing AdGuard Home, right? There's a command here. I'm going to show you how to do Debian 10, right? A region, that's going to be where I am. So I'm in Canada, so I'm going to select Toronto, but you would want to select where you want things to go. All these right here show you more than $5 a month, but I've been running mine with this right here. One gig CPU and a gig of RAM. That's it. And 25 gigs of storage, plenty of storage. So we'll go with that and we'll use that too. I'm going to call this um, shared DNS, or I'm going to call this AdGuard. And we'll create a tag. There's no tag. We're going to create a root password. Make sure it's really good. But I'm going to show you how to block this also. So. I use my Bitwarden and it creates me a password. There we go. And no VLANs, we'll go private IP, backups, because that could be really good for two bucks. I mean, who wants to recreate all this? And then what we'll do is we'll create. It's showing us our IP address right here. So this is gonna be our IP. I'm gonna copy this into my notepad here. Shouldn't take too, too long. We get our information over here to SSH2, and then we'll have a, our uh, SSH console here. Let's open up our terminal, log in, and run that one command that we need to install the ad guard. Hopefully that's big enough for you guys to see. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller for me because of the terminal window. Okay, so we have to go like this, so we can copy this, put it into here, control V, yes, we want to accept it, now it's added, grab our password from the, we're in, and all we have to do is copy over here, this one command right here, curl, add guard, the rest of it, okay? I'll make this go up here so you can see this a little better. Paste, enter. Done, installed and ready to go. So if we take our IP address that we were given right here, copy, right? So we go copy and the default port is 3000. So we'll go here, 
three, one, two, three. Boom. So let's walk through this. Getting started. Uh, all interfaces, I'm going to change mine to 3000, but we're going to also show you how to lock this down so nobody else will get to it. You might want to have an IP address static that's at home, but don't worry, you can turn off the firewall rule if your IP address changes and stuff like that. It's not like you can't get back into your node to change the, um, the rule, but that's fine. So 3000 is what I'm going to leave mine at because that's what I like. All interfaces, yes. We'll go next. Create a username. ADG, ADMIN, so add guard admin, something I'm just going to keep it at. You guys can change whatever you want. And then we'll copy our password again. Control V, Control V. You definitely want to make this a good password, but you could also lock it down like I'm going to show you here. So next. No. Next. Done. Easy, right? A D G A D M I N. Enter password. We're good to go. So we got the basics, but let's set up a couple things, and then what we'll do is we'll see how well it's working, and I'll show you that. So we want to go to settings, uh, general settings, I believe. We want to go 90 days for our logging. Okay. We want to save that. We want to go up to filters. We want to go our blacklists. So we got a default one in here. We'll add this one. We'll go add a block list, choose from the list. And yes, we can also add one other one. So let's go to Dan's, Stevens, our other ones. We got other ones, so don't know what those are. Windows spyware blocker, that might help us out. And malicious. Malware sites, some of these things, right? You guys can tailor all this stuff that you want. So I'm gonna leave it at that, leave it at this. Push save. You'll see that these are going out and doing its thing. We'll click update just in case. Why not? They're new lists, so they're probably up to date and ready to go automatically. Pretty much ready to go. Now we just gotta take our static IP address. So our static IP address is this one right here, right? If we put this into our computer here, I'm actually gonna put it into the router and we start surfing it's going to show us no ads so let's copy this let's log into our router so this one really like this we'll notice this works real quick we'll log in we're online okay so we'll go to this device uh, we want to go to settings over here sorry uh, lan interface or wan interface on this we want to go static dns get rid of Google's DNS, put that in there. We'll go save, dashboard. Let's try going to a website now and see what happens. So Tom's hardware, might be working. Let's try this. Let's go back to AdGuard. As you can tell, I went to a website and it's already blocked a couple filters. Pretty sweet, right? Let's try one more. Um, what could we try that's got lots of ads on there? Mm. About Mac rumors because I like that site. And we'll go back, see if there's anything been changed. Oh, refresh. I mean, it's blocking stuff, right? It's doing its job. Could be doing more if I start surfing more. But so it's running. Now we want to lock it down. We want to lock this down so nobody can get to it. So we have to go back to our shared infrastructure here. We want to go back to firewalls, right? You want to create a new firewall. We're going to call this here, and we're going to go shared ad guard. Okay, pretty simple. Create a name, create it so we can find it. We'll go create. Now I have to look at my pictures because I don't want to show you guys my firewall rules and my IP addresses and stuff like that, but we'll go here. First one we're going to create is an outbound one so we don't get anything blocked. The out one's going to be uh, DNS, outbound, out-DNS, so we know what it is. That's a UDP port, okay, 53, and we're going to allow it for all IPv4, because we're not using IPv6, so I'll just leave it at IPv4. We'll go add. Done. 
save changes. Now we need to create some other rules. So we're gonna say DNS in allow DNS in, uh, so that's a UDP, ports and sources will allow that. So we're gonna go accept. And then we're gonna create another one and we're gonna go SSH description allow home SSH, TCP, and we're gonna go IP address. We're gonna plop that one in there because this is mean, what this means is we're only gonna allow this to come in and then everything else will be blocked. So we'll allow that. And we got the rule in here. So we can, we're allowing 53 from anybody we can lock that down by adding a rule in there and putting in our IP address or anybody else. We can, I can show you how that works if, you really, if we really need to. You can use my phone and put that in there. We're allowing DNS from anybody right here. We're allowing SSH in only from me, from this IP address that I showed you right here that we did our speed test from, and we're blocking the rest of it. So that means if I save this rule right now, and I go on my phone and I go to, let's make sure Wi-Fi is turned off. What's our IP address here for the ad guard? So 170.187.193.82, excuse me, semicolon, I can't get to that, but if I was to connect my phone to this Wi-Fi over here, which I can, let's see. Grandstream Lab, yep, because I'm behind that. But if I turn off the Wi-Fi, I will not be able to see that. Close, let's go here. Page is blank, can't get to it. So we've locked down SSH and the portal. Perfect. And it's in our router. And we can see what kind of websites we've gone to over here that have been protecting us. You can tell that it's working. So the whole point of my video was to show you guys that you could put this into a uh, Linode for very, very cheap, $5 a month, protect the family. Um, mine is actually, I just showed you there that we have our rules. We have our rules to allow us in and out uh, from your static IP address, if you have one or not. And yeah, and if you don't block anybody from using that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the iPad to this so what we can see how well this works. So we'll go into settings. Uh, for here, DNS. Configure our DNS. We'll put the IP address in. So 170, 187, 193, 82. Okay. And since mine's not locked down to an IP address, we'll see that this should be good. Let's go here and try going to a website. We use Safari because there's no blockers on it. Let's try going to this site. Is there any blocks coming on here? Of course there is. Look at them all, it's all working. So perfectly good proof that this would work in the public. Now. If you wanted to get technical and you wanted to make things easier instead of remembering the IP address, you can create a Dyn DNS account or if you own your own domain name, you could do that, which is what I did, and it works great. So I hope this video will help somebody out. Um, like I said, perfect for people who just want to use one of these awesome Grand Steam routers. Highly recommended. This is what it looks like right here. Works great. Been using it for a week. And I would put one of these in my house if I didn't have a lab network or anything like a small condo, this would work great. Perfect for mom and dad too. You can you could tailor the AdGuard home to so many different things and stuff that I 
highly recommend it. So if you liked the video, like, subscribe, and if I bored you with this video, let me know. That's my Jack Russell saying she wants to go outside for pee. So I'm signing off. See you guys later.